Teenage Mutant Ninja Puppets with Raphael, Leonardo DiCaprio, and whoever this dude in the hat is. Seriously, who is this guy? Well, let's go find out because cow flippin' bunga, this is Red Eye Reviews. We start learning about the rampant crime in New York City. Who have fallen prey to the recent surge of... ...used to plague the city. The very inefficient crime where it <laughs> takes 10 people to steal a single wallet. A wallet which I'm sure only contains a few bucks and a Starbucks gift card with like 72 cents on it that you just keep forgetting you have. But this theft is caused by the Foot Gang, who are a pair of wings away from just like being annoying house flies. April O'Neil, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. We meet April. She's a reporter that gave me funny feelings as a child. Bad timing. We see these guys try to rob her. However, she gets rescued by some very heavy-stepping, prepubescent little yelpers. <coughs> Just making all kinds of strange noises. In that commotion, however, Raphael forgot one of his weapons. But don't you worry, because when he gets back home, he's totally cool about it. I lost the side. I can get it back. Raphael. We all forget, uh, but they're supposed to be teenagers, you know? And, and here's Raph sounding like he owns a pawn shop in Brooklyn. Where are you going? Out to a movie. That okay with you? So, being all moody, he puts on his flasher trench coat and he heads out on the town. The other turtles take this time to order a puzza. Just slip it down here. <laughs> Give me that. Which is uh, ruined the moment you turn the thing sideways. So why don't we all just go ahead and enjoy a pile of greasy sludge? That's not even my biggest issue. My biggest issue is this. It dices, it slices, and yet makes friends. How did he tuck that napkin in? This even bothered me as a child, and I'm not kidding, because I had a pet turtle named Scar, because I was clever. And I can confirm to you on several occasions that you can't actually do this. However, turtles will eat pizza. It's, it's really bad for them, but they'll do it. But on his walk, nobody seems to notice that he's a giant turtle in a trench coat. It's amazing. New Yorkers, seriously, they just mind their own business, and it's awesome. But he saves this old lady's purse. Mm -hmm. The thieves run into my favorite character, Casey Jones. JV lowlifes need to be taught a lesson. Not like that, they don't. Your instructor's Casey Jones. Look, I don't want to fight you. And even he can't tell that he's talking to a giant turtle. That is, until he takes his hat off and it's like some sort of Superman Clark Kent moment. So now that Raphael realizes he can just walk around the city in a coat and just honestly do whatever he wants, he follows April in an attempt to get his weapon back. The Buzz Boys go to intimidate April. We've been waiting for you, Miss O'Neill. She responds with some very subtle racism. Am I behind on my Sony payments again? <laughs> Way to go there. <laughs> but they attack her. They knock her out. Raph jumps in and saves the day. He carries her back to his secret hideout in the sewers. Which, you know, if you, if you uh, remove the context, there's a pretty fucked up. Because I wanted to redecorate, you know, a couple throw pillows, a TV news reporter. So she wakes up. She handles the whole situation pretty well. <laughs> we do see a fly on the wall and he runs off to tell the others. I will tell you where we came from. He talks. We get the origin story, okay? He's like, I am a rat, as you can clearly see. And one day, I found some turtles swimming in the runoff from the Nickelodeon Teen Choice Awards. So naturally, I did what anyone would do. I trained them to be ninja and say funky catchphrases. 
Pizza. Radical, radical, radical. And I began their training. I was going to merchandise the hell out of these children. But they bring April home. They hang out for a little bit. They do some impressions. Mmm, you dirty rat. You killed my brother. (laughs) (laughs) They bend their totally not rubber weapons against the wall. Later. And then they head home. When they get back, they see the place is more trash than the pigsty they already live in normally is. The foot and mouth disease soldiers have taken Splinter hostage. So they head back to April's. The next day, her boss and his kid, who has worn the same outfit multiple days in a row and I wasn't supposed to notice, but I did, comes to visit. Will you tell your father to relax? I wish. We cut on over to Foot Fungus headquarters. We see Babies smoking cigars and they're doing cool things that only cool people get to do. You got any cigarettes? Regular or mental? Their teacher, Master Tetsu, has evolved into the creepiest uncle of all time, just stalking over his mob of children, telling them all he's got money in his pocket and stuff. It's disgusting. We meet Shredder. He is shaped like a giant bottle opener. And, much like a girl with really long fake nails, his spikes inconvenience him and everybody around him. Money cannot buy the honor which you have earned. He asks the gang if they know where the turtles are, and then that day walking ginger sells them out. So the turtles are coming up with a plan to rescue Splinter. Yeah, well, well, maybe I'll just take my attitude and Why leave. Why don't you? I never said I was a great leader. Well, you sure act like it sometimes. Yeah? Um, sir? Why don't you go ahead and stand up there, pal? Are you, are you one of April's friends? Maybe is she hiding a lot of guys in here? Who are you? But while Raph is moping about, they all get attacked. He'll probably be back any minute. <laughs> At some point, Casey shows up being all cool and stuff. And after a brief fire sale at the antique store, we run away. That little ginger squealer chats it up with Splinter, who's who's really starting to look like a true New York rat. (laughs) It's not good. He's he's in pretty rough shape. How can a face so young wear so many burdens? But the gang takes the beat up Raph out to April's old family home to recover. We see that they have gently placed him in the tub. <laughs> he just looks really comfortable in there. And she takes good care of him. She had pets before. She drips a little water on his shell, and she's like, yep, that does it. And it will. The turtle will live. Okay, Raph. You're gonna be okay. (laughs) (laughs) What in the nine hells is that? Donnie, you're like a, you're like a Sarlacc pit, bro. Does your little mouth like the same type of pizza that your big mouth likes? This is the stuff of nightmares. I'm going to move on. We cut back to Shredder. We learn that he, like many people from his generation, is a huge hoarder. It's everywhere. He's got unopened boxes of Archie comics. Oh, yeah, no, sure. It'll be worth millions of dollars someday. Why don't you just go ahead and put it next to your Pez dispenser collection? So the turtles meditate. And they apparently smoke some peyote off screen because they see Splinter. And this makes them sad. (laughs) And uh, they they try to console one another. But uh, apparently, much like Mickey Rourke or Carrot Top, their faces can't move much these days. Uh, The Botox has just really just tightened everything up to a degree that is uncomfortable to look at. 
So they head back to the city. We find Danny in our hideout, and he's managed to find another shirt. It's good for you, kid. Personal hygiene is very important. I had some pizza down here the other day. You like penicillin on your pizza? But while the turtles are sleeping, he sneaks back to the cool kids club. And we see Splinter. And he's looking way worse. It's all gangrenous and looking rougher than Chuck E. Cheese. Just say that. We do see Casey has followed him. He sees a talking rat. He's like, yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, Turtles, can openers, or six-year-olds smoking cigars in here. Of course there's a talking rat involved. So he starts getting his ass kicked by the creepy uncle. Until he finds that set of golf clubs that Shredder promised he would use again when the weather clears up. But then, you know, when it does, he just complains how the sport costs too much money. And that cycle just goes on for years. We have a loyalty to the Shredder. What are we just standing here for? Let's get him! Well, I'll be damned. Would you look who it is? Don't open that! It's an alien planet! Is there air? You don't know! Mr. Sam Rockwell, how the hell are you, sir? I really wish you were in more of this movie. You're looking great. Meanwhile, the foot people, which when they're together, I I just call them feet, is the proper plural. They have found the turtles. Gosh, I do hope there's more of them. We get some fights. (laughs) We get way too much turtle crotch for my personal liking. Shredder does show up. Uh, maybe all that hardware's for making coleslaw. His limited range of movement is no problem. He handles the gang like a boss. Eventually, Splinter limps his furry tushy up here as well. And he old man tricks Shredder off the edge. Well, isn't that a fun and playful reaction to crushing a man to death in a trash compactor? But the cops show up. The news shows up. Casey and April start making out. It's kind of weird. It confuses myself. It arouses the boys because, again, remember, they are teenagers. They're teenagers with rock-hard shells right now. (laughs) It's, It's disgusting. I have always liked Kawabunga. Seriously, pal, like, I honestly think we need to make you a vet appointment. Your your liver is clearly failing. And on that sad news, it is over. So let's head on over to Red Eye Reacts. Awesome. Righteous. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Look at these boomers trying desperately to stay relevant. Unlike Mua, I'm on fleek and point. Ugh. Where did they come up with this stuff? What the heck was that? It looked like sort of a big title in a trench coat. You're gonna look out of you, right? I deliver a message. <laughs> Shut it. Only effort. Earn the right to wear the dragon dookie. I'm sorry, sir. Did you say dragon dookie? Or am I just very immature? <laughs> I lived in New York, and honestly, believe me when I say, if I saw this while I was on that train, I wouldn't say anything. I will tell you where we came from. Talks? Why don't I ever dream of Harrison Ford? I'd like to invite you all in, but, uh... Oh, guys, she would invite you in, but her building has a really strict no-pets policy. Oh, cool. Oh, a fellow checker, eh? <laughs> the only thing safe in the woods would be the trees! <laughs> hey, Dom! Looks like this one's suffering from shell shock! Kawabunga! I made a 
<laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? Like, I think you're gonna die. That is it. Thank you so much. If you want to support the channel and myself, I have a Patreon. That link is down below. As always, a huge shout out to you all. I have a few new faces in there. I really appreciate the new people. I have great appreciation for my OG people. Each and every one of you is amazing. We're also voting on a pretty cool movie right now, and I'm excited to show you. Link down below. I have a Discord community down below. And my merch store is down below. I will see you next time, and until then, stay happy and stay healthy. Donnie, you're like a, you're like a Sarlacc pit, bro.